originally from Yemen, my next guest is a stand-up comedian making his network television debut. Please welcome Ali Sultan. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Ali Sultan. I was born in Yemen. I was raised a devout Muslim. And then one day, I accidentally tried bacon. <laughs> and I found Jesus that day. I found the Lord. <laughs> you know how people say psychedelics expand your mind? Bacon was my mushroom. That's... <laughs> As soon as I tried it, I said, why am I allowed four wives, but not a slice of this deliciousness? <laughs> I think if you're born in America, you should be grateful. <laughs> yeah. You have a lot of privileges, uh, like knowing your birthday. <laughs> and yeah, man, they don't keep birth records and they don't celebrate birthdays, so you just got to take your best guess. <laughs> and I finally asked my mom when I was 14 or 9, I said, Mom, when was I born? And she said, you were born when we got the cat. <laughs> I said, when did you get the cat? She said, that's when your uncle got diabetes. <laughs> and that's how I learned that time was relative. <laughs> the relative is my diabetic uncle. <laughs> Thank you. My mother uh, recently got married. It's her fourth marriage, because she's not a quitter. <laughs> and I said, congrats, mom. You're the first Muslim woman to have four husbands. You're the Rosa Parks of the Middle East right now. <laughs> Go get them. <laughs> My stepdad has been around the country for about a couple years, and he's already like learned so much. And in two years, he's learned how to speak English. Uh, he learned how to drive and how to ice skate for some reason. <laughs> and he's a nice guy. He pulled me aside knowing that I grew up without a father and he said, Ali, I want you to know that you are my son. And I said, no, thank you. <laughs> I am 30, I think. <laughs> also, also, I taught you how to speak English. I taught you how to drive. I used to take you ice skating. You're my son. Go clean your room. <laughs> I immigrated when I was 15, and when I got here, I had to take ESL classes. And one day, my instructor got off tangent. She started talking about the uh, Middle East and 9-11. Then she looked at me, the only Arab kid in the class, and she said, they hate us because they're jealous of our freedom. And she just kept staring and staring. <laughs> and that made me uncomfortable. And when I'm uncomfortable, I laugh. And I, and I laughed, but I laughed way too hard. <laughs> it didn't look like I was out of discomfort. It looked like I was plotting against the United States of America. She said, they hate us because they're jealous of our freedom. And I was like, ha, 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 ha. I don't, I don't think that's true. I don't think the Middle East is jealous of America's freedom. Because I've lived there. I lived in Yemen. And we had the most freedom because we did not have an operating government. <laughs> you could do whatever you wanted to, and it was crazy. One time I was on a bus and I saw a baby smoking a cigarette. <laughs> he might have been eight, and he was smoking so casually, and I was the only person panicking. and I was like, oh my God, why is he driving this bus? <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> That's why my favorite thing about America is not freedom, it's rules and regulations. <laughs> I don't want to live in a place where an accountant can have a bazooka. <laughs> I want to live in a place where jaywalking has consequences. <laughs> I am Ali Sultan. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. He's headlining the comedy Ford in Fort Collins on July 15th. And you can find him on Twitter at Ali Sultan Comedy. Ali Sultan, everybody. We'll be right back.